Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Today I've got a fun little revolver on the table. This one is a Ruger Single 6 convertible. It can fire either 22 Magnum or 22 Long Rifle simply by swapping out the cylinder and it comes with both cylinders. The one in my hand is the 22 Long Rifle and the one that's in it's the 22 Magnum and the Magnum one is clearly noted so you can't accidentally mix them up. It's kind of a fun little gun. It is a single action, so it's kind of like a single action army style gun. And you, you, you don't flip out the cylinder, you load it through a loading gate. So let's go ahead, pick this thing up, and show you some of the details about it. First off, we'll start showing you it's unloaded. And the way you do that on these single actions is you open the loading gate and it allows you to rotate the cylinders. The loading gate also disables the firing mechanism and frees up the cylinders. This is a, uh, it's a drop safe weapon, surprisingly, you know, the, the history of the single action is, you know, load five unless you think you need to load six because you wanted to have the hammer on an empty chamber. And that's no longer true with these because they have a transfer bar safety. So what you can see is this bar comes up when the trigger is pulled or the hammer's back. But in order for it to come all the way up, you have to actually pull the trigger. If you don't pull the trigger, let's say I let off the trigger and then as I put it down, you see that the bar goes away. It's kind of hard to catch, but you'll see the bar has moved away from the firing pin. You can see it there below the firing pin. And what that ensures is that in the event you have that hammer down and you drop it and it lands on the hammer spur, it can't fire the round. Unless that transfer bar is up, the hammer can't actually reach the firing pin. So that's part of the, the new series. So if you look, this is the new model. And then you've also seen like the new Vaquero and you know many of the other news in these single action guns. And that's the transfer bar safety is one of the attributes that's been added. Beyond that, it's just a fun gun. It's got this gunslinger style grip. This one is Rosewood. It comes in about 11 different models of the convertible. Different grips, it comes blued, it comes stainless steel. Uh, all of them come with both cylinders. And then there's three models of the single six that are not convertible. They've got a 17 HMR, a 32 H&R, which is kind of an interesting cartridge, and then of course a 22 long rifle. So there's a great diversity of them. This particular one has a six and a half inch barrel, which makes its overall length 12 inches. So it's not a small gun by any stretch. I mean, you can see sitting in my hand, there's a lot of gun here and it weighs 40 ounces. So it's relatively heavy for a 22. There's almost no discernible recoil, even when firing Magnum. But they, you can get these in barrel lengths down as short as 4.62 and up as long as 9.5. So whatever it is you're looking to do for either fun or you know just the look of it, they've got one a model that'll do what you want. And of course you can swap out the grips and everything else. The only thing that we've done to modify this one is you see these three dot fiber optic sights. Well, they're actually Williams sights because the factory sights are blackout. So you get a black adjustable rear sight and you get a black ramp. And at the end of the video, I'll put the groups that we had with that sight set up. Yeah, they're not too impressive. I couldn't see the sights. I couldn't figure out where I was aiming the thing. So we replaced it with these Williams sights. And what you do is you replace the insert on the rear sight. So it's still, it's, this whole leaf gets swapped out. So it's still adjustable and then you just remove the screw and put on the new front sight. Once we had these sights on it, you can actually pull really tight groups with it. It has the potential to be quite accurate and it's easy to shoot well and it's just a lot of fun to shoot. It was proven to be reliable. It worked with it, whatever ammo we had. We didn't have any problems with sticking cartridges or you know empty cases after firing. And it's actually relatively easy to work with and it's got a nice light trigger. So I'm going to hold the hammer because it is, it is a rim fire, but if I hold the hammer, you see that's all the trigger play there is. That little movement is all it takes for the trigger to fire. It's real light, it feels like it's in the four pound territory, and it's real short and it's real crisp. So follow up shots, really easy to do other than the fact that each time you do a follow up you got to thumb the hammer back. But you get into the rhythm you get a pattern for doing that and you'll find it's really easy to do. The fully stainless steel model that you've got here with the rosewood grips and again, you know, it's kind of got that gunslinger flair. MSRP is $6.99 on this. You could probably get it in the fives. Some of the other variants, the prices vary depending on the barrel length you choose and whether you get the blued or stainless. 
I had mentioned that it's easy to work with this thing. Now, of course, it is a single action, so it is a loading gate style. It's not as convenient as a flip out, but that's you know the overall design of the gun. As these go, it's really easy to work with this particular variant of it. The way they've got the cylinder designed, when the loading gate is open, you can turn it freely in the clockwise direction, but it won't go counterclockwise. So it's not spinning around on you. So it's kind of really easy to take one hand under the cylinder to rotate the cylinder in place, and then use the ejector rod or drop another round into it, and then rotate it with your thumb so you, or your finger. So you can kind of just sit there with the two hands and go between the rod loading and rotating the cylinder. So it's just, it's really easy to do. Now, I did mention this is a convertible, so let's talk about the next phase of that. How do you do that if you can't flip the cylinder out? Well, there's a button here. You push this button, and that releases the safety that allows you to pull the pin out. So what I tend to do with it is I hold it in my left hand, push the button with my left hand, and then pull the rod out. Now, technically, you don't have to pull the rod all the way out, just far enough to remove it from the cylinder. But what I find is trying to figure out what that point is is sometimes easier to just pull the rod all the way out, trying to, other than trying to figure out when it has come loose. Now you notice the cylinder is loose. It comes out past the loading gate. Set it aside. Take the new cylinder. You want to do it with the drive towards the back and you know, the, the cylinder towards the front. You drop it into position. Now this can take a little wiggling around. What you want to do is kind of wiggle it around until it gets back lined up. Sometimes you have to play with it a little bit. And of course I'm trying to do it with the one hand to show you on the camera. And of course that doesn't always work as well. So let me I got it, kind of got it hung up. If you get it hung up, just pull it back out again. And this time I'm going to hold it like I normally do, rather than trying to hold it entirely for the camera. Push the button, wiggle it, slides in. So it's easy to do once you figure out a pattern of the right way to hold it and let gravity help you. You can just pop it together. At this point, now I can fire 22 long rifle in it. Now you may be tempted to say, well, you know, I'm not going to bother with that. I'll just put the magnum cylinder in it and shoot both. Even though they'll fit in there and they will actually function, there is a slight difference in the characteristics of the two from a size perspective that does make that unsafe. So don't, don't get lazy and shoot 22 long rifle in the 22 Magnum cylinder. That's what the other cylinder's for. So if you're, if you're out shooting Magnum and you've run out of Magnum, take the time to change the cylinder or call it a day. And if you're going to go out with 22 all day, just put the 22 cylinder in it. That way you have a safe, enjoyable, and you know, accurate experience. But if you're looking for fun or you're looking to do cowboy action or you're just looking to you know, have a good time, this is a perfect type of thing to use. If you're looking for a self-defense weapon, you know, it's not the best choice. There's, there's others out there that are better for that. And if 22 Magnum isn't something that you want, you could always check out something like this here. This single 9 is the same basic design, the same basic functionality. It holds 9 rounds instead of 6. However, you lose the convertible feature. This is what it is. It's 22 Magnum, and that's all it shoots. Still quite a fun gun, but you've got the trade-off. Do I want the convertible capability? Go with the single 6. If it's just 22 Magnum, and that's where I want to be, go with the single 10. We've got a video on this gun as well. And this one has the similar rosewood grip. And by the way, I said, you know, kind of confusing. I said single 9, I said single 10. This is a single 9. There is a single 10. I believe that one shoots 22 long rifle only. But this one's a single nine. And either one of them is quite a bit of fun at the range. So we'll set this guy aside. And the only other thing you run into is you want to keep these cylinders all nice looking. So you take some like a, a bag like this, put the cylinder in that you're not using at that time, so you can toss it in your range bag and not scuff it all up. And these are available on Amazon. You can also get them sometimes with like uh, battery backups for your cell phone and stuff like that. But that's a good way to keep to carry the other cylinder around and not mess it up. And one thing you'll find with the weight of these, when you're shooting 22 Magnum on it, it's a big, you know, it's a louder bang and a big fireball. It's kind of a lot of fun. But from a recoil perspective, you really don't feel a difference. So whether you're shooting 22 Long Rifle or 20, 22 Magnum, you're going to have a good day at the range. Uh, you, of course, you can probably buy twice as much 22 Mag or right Long Rifle for the price of the 22 Magnum. But either way, whichever one you decide to go with, you're going to have a good day with it. So if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up share, subscribe, click that little bell if you do subscribe so you get notified when we put out a new video. Check us out on Patreon and Facebook and have a great day. Thank you.
six. How are those sights? Hideous. Can't see the sights at all, so I'm glad I ordered those Williams sights. 